It is Friday, and it's a Stella weekend, which means I gotta get my butt out and get some traps set, or I'm gonna have a pretty unhappy 11-year-old tomorrow morning when there's no traps to check. So a farmer called, said he's having some beaver problems. I would say he is loaded. This looks like about a no-brainer of a spot, is any goes up and over the dam they built. They've blocked this whole thing off. Now, my only issue is, one, every raccoon in the world is going to travel it, and two, getting it staked with all this rock. So we're going to give it a shot, see if we can get one in. Probably the best spot on the property. Well, just as I thought, I can't get a stake in there solidly, so uh, I'm going to have to change methods. Tomorrow I'm going to bring a 330 Conda Bear and submerge it underneath the water right there. I'll get anything coming in and out. While I was here, I found this little crevice back there. Perfect size for a 110 Conda Bear. Any mink or muskrat coming through is going to go right into there. Check it out. So, it's a beautiful set. I just can't get it to where it'll work. And I'm not going to risk losing an animal. But this run, it wise off. Two beaver runs, comes down. I got my snare there, right at the water level. Their dam's over here. I'm gonna break some 330s tomorrow. There's a lot of pinch points in the water that are set up perfect for killer traps. Good morning, Stellbell. Got my good luck charm, Stella. She got her good luck raccoon hat on. We need to get a bigger one. And bigger boots. And bigger boots. We seem to be growing. Dang kids. Need new stuff all the time. <laughs> what are you hoping to catch? Possum. You're hoping to catch a possum? I don't know if we'll catch many possum today. We don't have we don't have coyote sets out. And that's usually coyote, when we catch coyote. We don't have any coyote sets out, babe. That's usually when we catch our possums. We got our snacks, we got our drinks, we're ready to roll. So you ready for this? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good morning, sir. How are you this fine morning? See him? Mm -hmm. He's just hiding. Oh, so wait, he's not so good. He's a little light in color, a little small, but the first starting to come around. Yeah. See those black tips? On the, on the hair. Yeah, he's so really good. They're starting to prime up a little bit. So he's talking to me. Yeah. All I right. I think I'll let him go. Let's get him, let's get him taken care of. What do we get? Two. He got a good pin. Oh, he's nice and dark, isn't he? Yeah, it's stupid. Stupid. Mr. Cooney. Mm -hmm. Number two for the morning. Good morning, Mr. Raccoon. Number three for the day. That's another nice coon. Now, I don't like that we're catching them in snares, set for beaver, because it diminishes the hide a little bit. They take a little bit off, but. Pelts are starting to look better, so we're gonna get them skinned up, put them in the freezer. All right, underneath the top bank, we got a Mr. Muskrat. Nice catch in a 110. Dispatch quickly. Didn't even mess up the trail. So that's a wrap for today. Kind of disappointing, actually. Three coon and the muskrat. Everything's set back out, so we will check them tomorrow morning. So we're done with the first day, babe. What do you think? Not the best. Not the best. But it will no. be better. Hopefully tomorrow's better, right? Yeah. So, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Let's go have some fun today, okay? Okay. Good morning. We gotta check traps real quick before we go to work. So, it's gonna be a quick check and go. Check the traps. 
dispense the animals, come back later and reset everything. So first set. Oh, nice beaver. Good morning, Miss Beaver. Nice head catch. It's not a bad way to start the morning. One down. By the looks of it, several to go. Little beef. Beaver number two on the morning. Hi, little guy. He's going to grow up into a big, be a big guy one of these days, so he's got to go. I was kind of expecting more of these than what we had. There's all kinds of raccoon signs everywhere. Mr. Sleepy Raccoon clogging up the beaver set. We'll get him dispatched and move on. Mr. Raccoon. Oh, muddy. Good color, though. And dispatch him and move on. Morning, buddy. And the last snare of the day is still set. So, I got to hustle back. Got the animals dispatched. Got to go to work for four or five hours. Then I'm going to come back and set these. Got some 330s for beaver. Reset my snares. Set some 110 for making muskrat. We'll see you later today. All right, boys and girls. That is a 330. How I usually run 330s. State of Iowa, you have to have them completely submerged. It's hard to find situations that are perfect for a 330 con bear, at least with my limited experience with them. So I've got three set already. I'm gonna walk you through, show you exactly where I look for. So this is the last dam of the system. See how the water's trickling over? As it gets colder, the beaver are gonna come around and they're gonna make sure everything's watertight. So you follow the water down and you see this narrowing of the channel. They're not going to go through the weeds. They're not going to go over this bank. So they're going to swim right through that channel. It is about perfect size for a 330. So hopefully there's not any rocks. And it's deep enough where I can get it submerged. And I'll show you how I set it up. Another thing on this system. Make sure you have a pogo. Because I've learned the hard way that this stake will not hold a, a beaver once it's trapped even though it kills them almost instantly. I did a lot of magnet fishing looking for beaver. So we just go, we want, just like the snares, we want our trap right in the center of the trail. Now, as you can see, there's, maybe you can't see, but there's grass on both sides and then there's a smooth path right in the center. That's where I want the center of my trigger because that's where every beaver that swims through here is going to swim. Gravel bottom. So you just keep working it down. I'm going to take my safeties off quick before I get them submerged. I'm going to pull this trigger up. Let it help guide the animals. And I'm going to push it until the top of that water is on top of that trap is underwater. Okay, so they are going to be doing their normal path. What I want them to do, instead of swimming on top of the water, I want them to dive under that trap. So I'm going to find a stick that'll go clear across that trail and set it right across the top of the trap. So that beaver that's coming will dive down right into the waiting trap. So we got our trap set. We're just going to position this stick shove it in until it's not resting on the we don't want it resting on the trap but we want it just so it's above the trap so the beaver will dive down into the waiting trap 
So it's kind of a pain in the butt to get it right. And that should work. So I'm going to stand back a little bit. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. I'm walking right down that path that every single beaver that swims here. Not only beaver, but river otter as well. I pick a lot of river otter up. So, you can see they're going to come swimming up. They're going to dive right into that trap that's waiting for them. So I'm going to get my pogo on the ground, on the bank. So my trap's here waiting with a dead beaver or otter in the morning. Fast little muskrat set with a 110 they're coming out of the water going through these weeds because they are prey everything eats muskrats from hawks to coyotes to fox they all love muskrats where he's coming through this tunnel there's a narrow and i'm going to put a 110 conibear bear there i kind of blended it in put some dive sticks so they go through the trap we'll see how that goes i'm going to put another one right on that rock if i can Get it staked. So another muskrat tunnel comes in through here. Got one there. I've got one there. So I've got these two muskrat sets. I've got my 330 crossover. And then below it, I've got two more muskrat sets. Hopefully, we get some critters out of here tomorrow. I'm gonna reset the four snares that caught animals this morning, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Well, the wind was howling last night, so I don't know how that's going to affect the check at all. But I got a couple trapping partners this morning. We're going to go out, see what the beaver trapping did, and then we're going to pull them for the weekend, for the week. Like I mentioned yesterday with those 330s that we set, a lot of times if we do make a catch, it scares the beaver off. So if I do use 330s, which I rarely do, but if I do, I usually make a couple catches and then pull them. So that way the uh, remaining beaver don't get so trap shy. Because they'll avoid it like the plague. So we're going to pull everything today and probably reset again next weekend. So I'll have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. Furs just aren't where they need to be right now for primeness. We're just doing this job to get rid of the beaver for the farmer. So... Have a little fun along the way. We'll be there shortly. That's what we're looking for. Nice beaver in the narrow 220 or 330 set. Not very big, but it's a nice beaver. Right where he should be. Hold up. Nice beef. One more down. That's what I was hoping for. Nice muskrat. Right through the tunnel. Did its job exactly the way it should have done. Muskrat number two. Nice big rats. Well, the trap is gone. Here's cable to the trap. And there's the beave. Nice beave. Thin runways. Pretty tough to beat. Ugh. Nice. Walk of shame. I left my 330 setters 
on the ground back where I had them set even at work when I ask where's my screwdriver it's probably the last place I used it you know one of these days I might wise up not looking like it's today <laughs> and there they are right where I left them dummy when last night I didn't catch a single thing in my snares got three beaver out of four in the 330s and I caught two muskrats out of four in the 110s I did have one run that looked like it had been used and looked like the beaver went around my snare which I caught a beaver in that run yesterday so maybe they're wising up a little bit to that run specifically so I'm gonna give it five days I'm gonna let it cool off let them just do their beaver stuff and then we're gonna come back in and hammer them again so it's not a bad day last two days we got five beaver two coon two muskrats for a handful of traps i'm gonna call that a success and i'm pretty sure the farmer's gonna agree with me so until next weekend i hope you enjoyed the video Make sure you comment if you want to see more or less of the trapping videos i'm gonna be out here having fun doing it if you want to come along let me know have a great week. We'll see you next week with the podcast.